Today on The Grid, we crush the hopes and dreams of photographers. We start off the new year with our blind photo critiques. There'll be lots of crying and gnashing of teeth. Also, Eric Kuna, the Kuna Man, is here starting the new off with the Kuna Man, the real man, the rocket man, the can of ham. We've got some delightful prizes, and it all starts in just 23.7 seconds. Let's go! It is brought to you by Platypod, the tripod alternative that is changing the world. Everybody has a Platypod. You should too. Go to platypod.com. <laughs> hey, right. all right. First grid of the new year. Welcome, everybody. Glad to have you here. Hope you had a happy holiday and a happy new year. And I hope you got all kinds of cool photography presents. Uh, I got zero photography presents. I didn't get a single one. Me neither. I got music presents, but I did not get any photography stuff. But I'm stuff okay with that. I usually just I rather buy what I want. <laughs> he also has everything that you could ever want in photography. So uh, I don't know about that. He has but. stuff that nobody has. He's got crazy stuff. Anyway, welcome. We're glad to have you here. Today is Blind Photo Critique Day. We asked our viewers to send in three of their best images. We're going to critique him today, and we've yes. got a wild bag of stuff we've got some really great images we have some not so great images we have images in between uh but it's a a varied uh collection of stuff but i'm excited to show them to you uh and we're going to give honest critiques um we don't know whose name is what so we don't know whose images that we're looking at we're not going to mention any names so we can just be straightforward and honest um, yes. and give an honest critique and we're just trying to help and that's what we're trying to do. Yes, we are just trying to help. Trying to hurt. And yeah, I, we're not trying to be mean, yeah. but we're trying to be just straightforward. We're trying forward. to help everybody because there's certain things that you'll you won't see in your own images that somebody right. else looking at it will just immediately pick out. Right. All that stuff that he just said. Yeah. We also have some giveaways to people who are watching live today on the show. Yes, Eric, what do we, we have to give away of, today? Bunch of giveaways. So we got uh, first we've got the how to do that in Photoshop book. So you can get this over on Amazon, but somebody's going to win it. Uh, here today and we're also going to weigh another book which is the Adobe Photoshop book for digital photographers uh, you can also get that over on Amazon but somebody's going to win that today as well and you can win the loosey goosey goosenecks from platypod so great attachment to mount the lights just like you see there and the other thing we're giving away is a V-flat from V-flat World. Um, so this is for U.S. shipping only, so you have to have a U.S. shipping address, but one person's going to win a V-flat from V-flat World. These are great because they fold up and they can fit right in your trunk or your back seat instead of having to have a big like box truck to, to go to your location. Uh, and then we're going to be giving away a copy of Retouch For Me's Skin Tone plug-in. This is great for people who's doing retouching oh, in yeah. Photoshop. Very good. Uh, does these AI skin tone mapping and it's really cool. If you didn't see that a few months, I think it's like probably about a month and a half back, uh, they were on the show and it's great stuff. And then we're going to be giving away a copy of On One No Noise 2023. Uh, this is a great uh, plug-in for removing noise and adding sharpening to your image. So we're going to be giving away all that away. All you have to do to enter that is just leave us a comment. Tell us uh, what you'd like to win. Leave us a comment uh, in the comments, and we're monitoring all the different chats, and we'll pick the winners at the end of the show. All right. So mm -hmm. we are going to jump right in here and look at our first entrance uh, images. Here yes. we go. Take a look. Here we have one, number one, mm -hmm. two, mm -hmm. and three. So what we have is uh, yep, some people skiing. Yeah. 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 It's, it's just look it's like you're like you're, it, okay, so your friends are skiing. <laughs> execution. You've done all the right things of yeah. freezing action. The background's and out of focus. And it's sharp. Out of focus. Yeah. I, I like the last one the best. Personally, like I don't know something about like I think it's more like a lifestyle kind of thing. Yeah. That, of course, that's, I don't like the person over. Like, yeah. That one person. But over th the these look like. This one is my favorite. Yeah, I can see Because at too. least it has a little bit of action to it. Yeah. But you know what it is? These have the feeling of, that. that's my Uncle Bob, and he's skiing. It, it doesn't have... This is the subject matter. Yeah, it's... Subject. This just is kind of, yep, that's somebody I know, and he's skiing. We were on vacation this winter. I'll tell you what, you're at the stage that if you get into a professional competition yeah. where they're doing stuff... Like, or an amateur, a or, good amateur uh, competition. Like, yeah, yeah, an amateur professional like competition, 
Yes. You've got the skills that you just got to yes. get yourself out to those things. Yes. And then you're going to make the great images. Yeah. Like you've already done the practice. Yeah. And, and, you've got and, the technique. and you need to like, like there's nothing special happening here. Right. He's not blowing up some snow. He's not kicking up anything. He's not jumping in the air. It's just like, yep, that's a guy going down. That's a, that's your Uncle Bob skiing. Yep. So technically you're doing it right, but your subject matter is pretty boring. This is the least boring. Yeah, and I like that too. This one, this one, the background's in focus. This looks like you took it with your iPhone. It's just, this hey, there's, just like a, there's Frankie. There's my yeah. cousin. He's on the slopes. Uh, yeah. So this is really a matter of boring subject these are just they're all pretty boring and that's kind of how the photos look but, but at the same time don't want to discredit like if you were shooting no, the, the right subjects i think your technique is yeah. fine so put somebody there take all of your same settings your lenses yes. your everything and put somebody doing something really cool there maybe a, like a college student or somebody like you know in a competition yeah. where they're wearing competition clothes you know and gear and all. I, I think taken what you're doing photographically yes. with a better subject and you'll have interesting pictures instead of looking like that's uncle bob on the ski slope so yes so if that's 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 where we're at all right let's look at this one let's see what we have well that's nice very steve mccurry ish look oh i like that one even better mm -hmm. that's my least yeah, favorite I that like one's kind of one. this one is my favorite but what, what i think would make this nice is like you have the edges kind of dark here dramatic and the lights right at her her hands are so bright mm -hmm. here that i think let me see if i can pop this That's over if you could go in here i think you just get the radial gradient let's put it over her like maybe here and then let's hit invert so when i move the sliders i'm affecting the background and just kind of darken that area in fact i might pull this part of the oval up because we don't really need her hands to be very bright but something like that and let me let me undo that and put them side by side you see how bright those yes. now her her face is the same brightness in both images Right, because we didn't affect yeah. her face; we just affect the area around her face. Well, you did a sculpt the light and post. Yeah, just that, and, and I might even bring out her face uh, once you've done that. I might go in here with a brush. Uh, let's just get the uh, what's it called? Create new mask. Go to the brush and maybe just brighten her face a little bit right in here. Yeah. Just maybe right, like yeah. something like that. I like that. And I think you got a winner. Yeah. But I think that this is, is, is far and away the best one. This one's very nice, too. Yeah. Uh, this one's nice. This one's nice. This one doesn't, doesn't even belong in, in with the other two. Those are really, really great in this one. Well, uh, but, there's no but, connection there. But you're doing a series. There. You're doing a yeah. series, and I like what you're doing. So uh, overall, I'm giving you a double thumbs yeah. up. I good like what stuff. you're doing. You're doing good stuff. you got interesting subjects, especially the center one, I think, is really – she's got a great look. And she's giving you something. I think that's that's really good. All right, let's move on. Number three. That's nice. That is I nice, like isn't it? it? I, I love the lighting love and the, the lighting. foreground and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is very nice. Yeah. Nicely done. This is my least favorite of the three. You got a you serious got glow. glow issue. You got a serious Glows glow the going all the way around too. here, around the palm tree. And the colors look a little like pushed too far, uh, and it looks a little crooked. So it's it, this just has got a little bit of post processing stuff. It's not a bad shot, uh, but your your post processing. Yeah, I mean, I actually think that's the thing. It's not a bad shot. It's just those those glaring things in post end up taking away from right. the image. But but here's the thing. Like this is a really interesting yeah. ooh shot, yeah. and this is actually for a travel shot. This uh, is very an nicely an done, yeah. and it's it's really nice and crisp, yeah. and it's a, a unique building and all. And this is okay. It's just these two these two stand out, and this one's like yeah, like your older work. <laughs> Something you did. Yeah. Two out of three. I'm still giving you two thumbs up, not three thumbs up, yeah. but still pretty good. I, I like stuff. what you're doing. All right. Uh, let's go see what we have here. Whoops, we already saw those. Let's see what we have here. Oh, now, look at this. Look at that. That's nice. I love that. Ooh, that's nice. Uh-oh. It's the two out of three day. I love that first one. All right, now. this yeah. is beautifully done. This is, that bird is, the way the, is the, sharp. 
the the branch too the way it's yeah and it's clean and it's guys clean. do you see how clean this shot Simple. is there's not a bunch of other branches coming off and stuff to distract you the background's well out of focus you can see a little bit of the snow this is a really nicely done shot this is beautifully done they're in mm -hmm. close with macro everything's mm -hmm. sharp it's interesting patterns this one's just a little too busy uh, the the foreground is good like the, 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 the flower and the petals and, and the, the steam. And I don't want to even say it sounds naughty. Yeah, yeah. All the stuff up front is good I'm just wondering on a you, busy yeah. background. Also, that it's upside down is just weird. And I know that that's probably exactly how it was. Yeah, but like, we're not used to seeing flowers upside mm -hmm. down. But anyway, you're, nay, you're killing it on these two. Absolutely killing it. And I, I think this is just. That's not bad. It's I'll just bet you. I bet you have a bad. way better flower shot yeah. than this because if you shot this, I imagine you've got some great ones. But very good overall. We're off to a pretty good yeah, start. We're good, except for the skiing shots. And they, yeah, you know, like we said, they weren't bad. They're just all right. Let's take a look at these. Ooh, look at that. That's action. Ooh, that's good. I love that. Oh, Ooh, look. Wheel spin. Look, wheel spin. This is good. This is all good. Very, very good stuff. All the technique is on the money. I, you might crop this one a little tighter. I might also darken straighten the it. Background. Yeah, darken the background too. Let's, can yeah. we do that real quick? Isolate. The Let's go a to more. masking. Let's go to background. Yeah, well, it, it did a little bit too much. I, I didn't want to really darken this. So what I'm going to do is say subtract. I'm going to subtract a linear gradient. So I'm going to yeah. subtract all of this down here. There we go. And that pretty much leaves us with the background and uh, let's darken that. It's also, I, I know that that you might have been, it, it might be overall straight, but I, th I don't think so. I would think that you would go to geometry or geometry, and I think you would straighten that background because the writer can be crooked yeah. and not weird. The writer's leaning into the turn. Yeah, there we go. That 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 should be straight back there, just for for the viewer. That may have been exactly how it was where you were standing and all that, but I I think that you you might want to fix that. Um, can you just hit auto and fix it? Oh, lovely, yeah, there you go. lovely, lovely. And and you might you might could go a little tighter. I mentioned. I think it would take a little from here, and a little. You, you want to leave enough. You in want to front leave breathing room like it's yeah you want to leave something. some some breathing room but it's more interesting you really want to see as much of the yeah. the writer as you can can you open up that the, also help with the background yeah it, it takes some of that out and maybe pop the shadows a little bit anyway that, that i think these are great photographically you're killing it um your technique is right on the mind. these are all really good they're yeah. they're interesting they're well done good good on you those good are techniques. those are i really really good All right, we got three more. Let's take a look. Uh oh. Yeah. All right. So, so there's nothing in focus in this shot. There, there's nothing. Yeah. The, the, the pitcher's out of focus. The ball's out of focus. The net is out of focus. Now. It's actually an, in focus right behind the pitcher and the grass. Yeah. You can. Or yeah. Part it, of the picture yeah. The it's. Yeah. It is. It's not in focus on the pitcher. Uh, which which could mean that you didn't have a fast enough shutter speed because the mound looks kind of in focus yeah. and the grass in front and behind, but your shutter speed wasn't fast enough yeah. to freeze the pitcher. So he's burned. Uh, you need one one thousandth of a second, and it's crooked. I mean, th there's just there's nothing good happening here. By the way, you can usually focus through that net. Like, you can usually focus in and the net will disappear. Yeah, kind of disappear like you can kind of zoom in when you're back that far you're going to get full net but if you just zoomed in tight and and just just for reference here besides it being very crooked so let's fix the crookedness uh you would want to be in like this but without the so you could have zoomed in gone past that and you need to focus him and all okay so that that one's kind of a mess um this this it it's not bad it is it's you're just going for a graphical look you know you you like the circles and the lines and stuff yeah that's what it is uh, it's, it's not bad it's i find like the the stoplight or the traffic light in the rearview mirror really distracting 
But yes. you may have liked that. You, that may have been what drew you to it. Uh, and also, it seems like I want to see a little more inside the car. Um, but it's it's this is the best of the three. And this one, the moon is horribly out of focus. <laughs> It's yeah. it's very out of focus. And it's, the white balance is. I know. Yeah. You could say well, it was warmer than. But yeah, it's but too it's too warm. It's too warm. You We're need usually not. Yeah, you're not. You would see the moon that color if it was on the horizon. Yeah. You need to be somewhere in there, but it needs to be so much sharper. I don't even know that if if like uh, topaz or something could save it. It's possible. Because yeah. it's it's not a hundred percent out of focus, but it's not sharp. It's that other thing. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Yeah, Topaz helped. Topaz helped a lot. And it showed that you had motion blur that was very blurry. So let me show you the difference here. Look. Wow. So that was, you can see how out of, out of focus it was. Yeah, but, well, part of that is whatever you're shooting through, because you can even see, like, you've got a lot of chromatic aberrations there with the lens all right let me close out of this okay so what it is is we got a lot of work to do here we got a lot of work um this i think is by far your strongest piece um and this one just forget about it and this one i just delete those um but you got a little bit of work to do you got a little bit of work to do on 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 focusing and technique so that's i think yes focusing. i think i would i would be really working on the focusing and remembering to you know keep your camera straight uh, but uh, get a little, get a little bit of work to do, but not, not overcome, not you, you'll, you'll can overcome those fairly easy. Let's take a look on screen. Look at this. That's nice, mm -hmm. nice, sharp, clear. Perhaps not the prettiest bird. No, vultures tend not vulture, to be. Uh, but but photographically nailed it. Yeah. And oh, that mm -hmm. poor. What is that? It's a, it's a fish. It's not a shrimp. It's a it's a fish. But um, very nice. I mean, your your detail and your sharpness and your clarity yes. is on the money. You got the backgrounds out of focus, so your subject is, is very clear what you're doing. Yeah, you're doing. These are great. You're doing a great job. I don't have to spend any much more time on it. Keep up the good work. Speaking of good work, look at this. Long exposure. Nice long exposure. Long enough. Nice. Yeah. Nice. 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 Yeah, yeah, these are all very nice. Very good. You're doing good stuff. Uh, lo your exposures are long enough. Eric and I are always complaining about uh, yeah, the exposures like not being long you enough. You can definitely tell in the water there. Even get this concentric circles. Yeah, concentric circles. You know how we love those. Um, yeah, very nice. All this very good job. Good, good, good. It is time for us to take a short break. So we are going to take a short one. Actually, we, we have three more minutes, don't we? We don't have to take one yet. No, we're actually three minutes over. Oh, crud. Okay. Way. Oh, yes. All right. Wow. Nice jib work there. Hey, good <laughs> job cutting our heads off. That was good. <laughs> you can always tell when someone's subbing on the jib. All right. Stick around. We're going to look at more images right after this. Do you have hundreds of images sitting on your hard drive? I think you do. But after this class, you will learn how to get those images published and get them out in front of the world so others can see them. I am Leonard Johnson, award-winning fashion and beauty photographer, and I'm here doing my third class on how to get your photos published. How to even select your images. Now you're gonna curate those images. Okay, so I'm gonna walk you through the step-by-step -step process of what it takes. I'm gonna take you through caviar.com so you can see the whole selection process step-by-step -step of what you need to do in order to get those images up and get them off those hard drives and get them published. Come check out my latest class at kelby1.com. You've had a marvelous day shooting. You've got that lens, you've got that body, you've got those shots, you've got those planes. It's been a killer day of shooting. Now it's time to go back and finish that story. Hey folks, Moose Peterson here. Got a brand new Kelby One class for you on finishing those aviation photographs. Whether it's a plane on a stick, you've got incredible things overhead, you've got statics, you have people, you've got junk in the way, it doesn't matter you're gonna have a finished photograph that's gonna share your passion for aviation photography for 
all to see those images. We've got so much new, incredible possibilities now. We have AI masking, we have generative fill, and we got so much more where you combine that and other things. And I'm gonna bring it all to you in this hour long class. So come along, I've got a lot to share with you on Kelby One. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by b &H Photo, the professional source since 1973. Hey, we're back. Scott and Eric are here. We got some quick shout outs. Yeah, so we've got, uh, oh, God. Modi is joining us from the Malaysia. And then uh, Marv's joining us from San Francisco Bay Area saying hi. Uh, Jetty uh, saying hi from uh, Colorado Springs. It's a Joe's, nice, nice town. Yeah, saying hi from... Um, Joe saying hi from St. Augustine, Florida, so right around the corner. Uh, Marcella saying hi from Miami. Hi, Marcella. Again. I know Marcella. Yep. Hi, Marcella. And then Larry H. saying hi from Nebraska. And then Sharon B. saying hi from a rainy uh, SoCal. Michael saying hi. Um, so, and then Gary saying hi from Scottsdale. Scottsdale. All right, let's look at some images. Here we go. Loser portraits. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That is spectacular. I love that one. So we went from, that's all right. That's pretty like, good. Wh Holy crap. I'm like, wh what photographer is shooting this? Because yeah. the last photographer is the these photographer are like I These want. are okay. This is the guy that's I want to hire one. or girl I want to hire. Okay. But of course, I think part Look, of that is something else. This is 100% what it is. It's, yes, it's nice lighting. But you have got in this guy right here, take a look on screen. That is a phenomenal subject. 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 You've got an amazing subject. And when you take a picture, now, you did the other stuff right. He's got a good lighting. pose. The lighting is good. The way he's holding his hat. Everything is coming together in this shot. But I'm telling you guys, I talk about this all the time. This starts with a fantastic subject. He is fantastic. This is a grid. This is the person you love to shoot because it makes the photographer well, look fantastic. The lighting and the posing and everything yes. goes with the subject. Yes, too. The it all ones, fits. The it's other suitable. Ones are a little, especially that right. middle one is. So off. let's let's ask our question. All right. So this looks like two different photographers. Take a look. This there's no yeah, way that this one did this one. But you look at this photo when you're like, wow. And you look at this photo when you're like, like, does this make you think, wow, what a great photographer? Yes, it does. Does this make you think? no first off i mean this is well lit it's well done but it's boilerplate stuff yeah right she's not giving anything she looks she looks almost like like, like depressed maybe yeah, a little just it's like, just kind of more like a hands on her face or more like i'm i don't even want to be here yeah, yeah. this, she, like, this yeah. is not doing it this is in like an entirely different league like do more of this but to do this is going to take you finding great classic subjects people that are phenomenal now this this shot over here is nice as well yeah. and i like you know that this person put in yeah. the, the they've got yeah. everything going on in the background and all that however there are two things wrong with this number one uh, you can see that her pants are, are unbuckled you need to tell her to buckle those <laughs> pants up button those things i'm just kidding no but here's the thing watch this i think we can make a, a really good difference here go to the masking panel Wait till it finds her, click on her, and then click on hair. Because what we're going to do is we're going to hit create on just her hair, mm -hmm. and we're going to open up the shadows in her hair and the exposure. And it's just going to make your lighting and her hair look That's that much. Now, I, I, I overdid it a bit yeah. here. Let me back off. But look at the difference here. Let me hide the 
Look at the difference. Let me let me zoom in so you can really see here. Instead of her hair getting lost in the mix, now her hair has all kinds of depth and dimension and stuff. It's nicely done. Uh, this is my second favorite. The middle one, I, I, I just there's nothing there. Oh, that last one. The huh? last one, holy cow. The last one is enter in portrait competition t quality. And do more of that. And you wouldn't enter these other two. They're nice. They're professionally done. I'm sure the subjects like them. But but they're not in this is in a completely different league. And this would make a beautiful duotone, by the way, if you went in here to the color grading and just moved just the midtones over a little bit towards brown and put a, a mid to a, a mm -hmm. duotone in there. Yeah. So so you can see how it's got a little hint of the brown in there. That could mm -hmm. be really nice. But this is I love this. You got you nailed the subject, but I want to congratulate you on also appropriate lighting, appropriate background, all the yeah. other stuff. It all came together, but it starts with a phenomenal subject. So, yeah. well done you on the on those two two out of three. This is the two out of three photography day. All right, let's look. What do we have here? Uh oh, I can tell by the thumbnails it's gonna be bright. All right, now before I comment, I don't want to take away from uh, the the message here. So this is this is a great message and 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 that. So I'm I'm only talking about the photo, the photographic techniques, right? I, I think this is by far the strongest one. It tells the story, right? It's just overexposed. Yeah. It it is probably a stop too bright or so. If you could just go to here and go to light, or you know what you want to do, and same thing in in Lightroom. Uh, the, I'm in Camera Raw. It's the same as Lightroom's develop modules. Same sliders to do the same thing. It's just too dang bright. And I would take the highlights back too. Just, it's way too, I mean, I'm at a stop down. It's at least a stop overexposed. So look how bright it was. It needs to be brought down a little bit. It washes everything out. You lose color and you lose saturation. In fact, you can probably bring up the contrast a little. All right. So that's the best one by far of the three. This one because it's telling a story. This that one's not one, bad, but it's just, we need to crop this one. Uh, this one is. Let's get in here, and your crop on him isn't isn't right. There we go. <coughs> Something more. You don't need a whole bunch, but that's a much stronger photo. It's, it's just bright. way too bright. Now it's brighter on our monitor in the studio than it is on my. Let me get my brightness up to where it should be. All right, there's the brightness. So yeah, it's, it looks better and the color looks warmer here, but it's just but unfortunately, it's, yeah, it's just, just kind of right. And then, but that's, I can tell by the thumbnails. Yeah. But this is a throwaway shot. And now you may know the story, but you know, having cars in the background, not really fully seeing his expression, you know, he may be sad walking away. He's obviously, you know, in the graveyard, he's a veteran. You know, I'm not taking away from the message, but photographically, there's not much here. Yeah, there's just not, so, especially in that one. So uh, this one is 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 far and away the best, and it's a good tell. I don't know if I would have that second flag in there. Yeah, it's almost like the, the frame. He's so far away. Yeah. Yeah, I think maybe we could, how do we get rid of that second one and keep the other flag? It's going to be tricky, but we, there we go. You want to keep. Yeah, you want to keep the one flag in there, but I don't think you need all the rest of that stuff. Let's back off on the highlights and the exposure a bit. But, you know, it's it, the, not much you can do about the time of day because whenever... But I like him. I think he's a good subject. And uh, I think you're, you're telling a good story. Uh, but the other, the other two shots, this one's not nearly because, as bad. It just needs cropping. Ones, those don't have a... The first one has a story. The other two just don't. Yeah, they don't really have a story. They're just... They were there that day. Yeah, the first one's a good storytelling, like, you know. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at what we have here. Next, moving on. Looks like J Jordan Pond, I think, in Acadia National Park. I think. I'm, I, mm -hmm. Looks like it to me. So I think the strongest photo is this one. Unfortunately, it's not taken at a great time of day. I was going to say, the uh, first two are bright, too. Uh, this one's bright, too. Yeah, this yeah one's, especially the first one. Uh, I think I would add contrast and darken it yes. up a little bit, and I would warm it up a little bit. Go to color and add a little warmth to it. Mm -hmm. 
So I think just those three things, I think, would, would kind of give a little more life. But that's I think that one's far and away the best. This one has a lot of potential, but I don't know where to look. You know, there's not a, yeah. there's not a central subject or a thing to look at. And that's a hard thing with like shooting at overlooks. Yeah, this is a tough there's, one. There's no like prominent like uh, yeah, where am I, I don't, supposed to go? Yeah, I don't know eyes. where to look. It's just kind of and and I know it's to having that low hanging clouds or fog is really appealing, but I I don't even know where to look. Inside of this photo might be a stronger photo, yeah. but you got to crop in a lot. You'd almost yeah. have to say we're going to use this little area right here like that looks like a little you know village or something there yeah. and then then you've got a focal point you can say oh look at that little town there you know and i i think that would could be a lot stronger but yeah i think that uh, the other one is just so uh, overreaching that all right and then the, this this one this is a throwaway shot this is i was on vacation so this not a travel shot it's not a landscape this is a landscape, this is a landscape, this is a snapshot. This, this doesn't have the feel or this is just like I pulled out my phone and there we were. But if you came in closer to the boat and you shot it at the right time of day, you might be able to get something out of that. Yeah, but how about that Evan Rude motor hanging off the bank? That kind of takes the we'd romance. Have to, we'd have to take that out. That kind of takes the romance right out of the shot. We'd have to take that yeah, out. and the ramp. And I, yeah, I think, you know what, I think Eric might be right. Inside yeah, of that photo. It. Yes might be a more interesting you photo take the dock out or like that dock over on the side yeah, yeah that I mean, dock yeah go and you might have to get like in the water yeah the I, yeah that's, <laughs> that's that, that one i would shot. just i would just pitch that one yeah this one i think it, is really pretty good at dawn it would or dusk it would have been amazing this one needs a little crop but you can see what the issue is and this one doesn't belong all right moving on all right Portraits again. Mm -hmm. Nice lighting. Mm. Very nice lighting. Nice lighting. All right. So here's what we have. Weird retouching. The 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 retouching is funky. And I, I, I don't know if it's over retouched, if you used a plug-in or thing. So hey, there's a great question we're gonna answer here from Matt in just one second. Um all of the retouching is it's I think the retouching is overdone like he looks smooth he shouldn't look smooth like yeah. his he, he looks like he's retouched like he would retouch a woman in a bathing suit it's just way over the top man. it's yeah it's just over retouched to death this one surprisingly is not this one yeah, it's usually the opposite it's usually the opposite right? now her eyes are a little dark the, her the whites of her eyes are gray and you have to be careful because it's the thing that people are most likely to over retouch. But here's what I would do. I think you've got a way stronger photo in here. And that would be to come in here, hit the letter X and don't see her top at all and do it like a beauty shot. Yeah. I think that is like more like a beauty headshot, a much stronger shot. You got to do something with those eyes. Now, look, this is so easy. Go to masking, wait for it to find her. And then you're going to go to um, go. Ice Sclera. Yeah, right and then hit Create. And we're going to brighten it just a little bit. You know how hard that used to be? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, maybe to right there. Two seconds. All right. And, and let's see. You can just let me, let, me, let me pull off this so you can see. It's just a little bit. You know, if you go any further, it'll, it'll look, you know, but it shouldn't look gray. The whites of her eyes should not look gray. In fact, I think I might come up a little more on yeah, that crop. A little bit. Like Maybe there. there. And I would like to go a little wider on it like that. Ooh, I think that's yeah, pretty good. That's now, it. if we're going to do one more thing, let's might as well. Let's go here and say create new mask. Let's select her. And then can anybody guess what we're going to do? We're going, subtract a yes, subtract a gradient from her. That's what so we do. you don't, <laughs> so you, oop, wrong way. You want her face to be the brightest thing. You don't want her skin to all have the same brightness. And then we'll just oh. pull this off a little bit. Yeah. Don't have to do a bunch, but it, her face should be brighter. You should have fall off from, uh, you might could pull this up a little bit. Maybe like that. 
So see how bright yeah, her her just brings the light her up. decolletage area her, and it's and it's her neck and by you doing that you're doing the one thing that i think this question that matt has about is like why should you have one thing to look at yeah when, when you did that and isolated her face you're bringing my eye up to the face right same with the landscape uh you know if you've got multiple boats and it's all busy I don't know where to look. Right. I don't know what the photo is of. Right. So, Matt, I can answer it easy for you. Yeah. Why does there need to be one thing to look at? Because your photo needs a subject. Yeah. Your photo needs a subject. Without a subject, and you can't be the subject, can't be, it's just everything. No. Show me where to look. I need to look at something. What's this photo about? Oh, yeah. it's just about this whole area. No, it's, it's not. Just, at it's that about point, nothing. It's like snapshot documenting. You're yeah. It's like, oh, I was here. Boom. All right, but good stuff. I mean, the photography here is really, mm -hmm. really good. I don't want to overlook that. Very, very good photography. Like pull back too on the much retouch. post processing, yeah, and you've got a killer shot there in the uh, in. The, you got a killer beauty shot there if you want to crop it that way. All right, moving on. Up oh, more portraits. All right, that's nicely done. That's nicely done. I, th I think on the first two, you're going to do the same thing, or you would do the same thing you just did, which was a gradient. Yeah, you might. Kind of pull the light up a you little bit. You might do that. I, I don't find it it's is. It's not terrible. No. I, I, and uh, this one, I really, I really want to get rid of this white thing she's yeah. wearing and make it more like a beauty shot. And you could do that with um, Photoshop's Phil. Uh, generative, generative Phil. film. Would do that. And then this one, the, her skin looks a bit over retouched. Just yeah. back up on the retouching, but look, I like the the way. The you, look a little. Yeah, the whole the whole retouch looks a little bit much. A little much. Like maybe back it off to seventy five percent or eighty or or uh, seventy percent. Like Eric said, back it About off by thirty percent. Yeah. That's where I'm at. Twenty five. But these are good. I mean, you're doing a good job. You're very, you know very good photographer clearly. So you know don't don't overthink that one. <laughs> Oh, look at these. I like the thumbnails. I know. You can tell them the thumbnails, right? Eric mm -hmm. and I see the thumbnails right before I make them big. And you can usually tell well, just looking at the I thumbnail. I can tell what the subject is there. Yeah, what's the subject? <laughs> Got it. It's You've nice and it's frame, clean. It's yeah, I like it. Yeah. There, there's something I would do, but I, li yes. I like that. Woo! So, now, this is one where you've made the subject the Milky Way. I'm not a, I mean, it's great, but I that's like where. I like the foreground. But the, well, the, but the foreground is, is good. It's good, but it's it's one of those things where it's a great shot. There's not a, no, nothing wrong with it. You've done a great exposure and all that. Do you think they should have lit the trees in the front? Well, I well the other the other trees are lit by light pollution. You can tell it's either a car light coming by or, or something. Let's open up and see if we can open up. But I don't think you, I mean you don't have to. But, Ooh, but you, yeah, you see where like, oh you start look at see that. It? But then I would even. I would change Ooh. the light that's being cast on these trees. It's very cool because it's coming from a source that's very cool. But you could easily select the foreground rather than the background. All right, because you would go background first. Oh, I can't find a background. So sky, do select sky, and, sky then and then invert. Right. And then we're just going to warm, warm it up. Warm it up. Yeah. And, and less and, towards green. Yeah. And that way you don't have that such that pull on the foreground being so cold. Wow, I added a lot there. Yeah. You, well, you see how oh, cold okay. it was. Now, Ooh, it now was you can cold. really yeah. see how cold it was. It's because Burr. the prominent the prominent light in the foreground is cool. And that will happen with Milky Way shots. If you, you That's why you always want with Milky Way, if you're going to light the foreground, you want to be at like 3200 to 3800 Kelvin on your light. Because that's going to match better with your sky. It just will. In fact, 3,600 Kelvin is kind of what I use. I know a guy named Kelvin. Yeah, yeah there you go. There's a little before and after. Nice, yeah. though. It's just so He's good but photographer. Once, once you do that, it really kind of opens it up. And that's why I was All talking right, about Let's see. The, the third one. Yeah. The third one is yeah. is a is it's it's the least of the three, but, but it is what good. it is what you would put in a book yeah, it's still for good. leading lines. Yeah. But you know what, though? Can I do this? Let me do this. I would have to have to get rid of that. this yeah. let's see if that's unfortunate that is it though there. is it it's unfortunate is it 
Let's see what generative fill does. Let's, Let's hit generative fill, generate. Now, if you're trying to get rid of something, you don't type anything in there. Yep. You just leave it to it to know that looks stupid and shouldn't be there. Let's see what it does. It takes about 12 seconds. Let's give it a yeah. let's give it a look. Yeah, that's pretty well, good. Well, let's 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 see what our other two choices are. That's pretty good. That's, that's pretty better. Good. <laughs> that's not no, good. The middle one. Boom. Yeah, and there's a little something here. Wait, I would just go right there. And yeah. You could probably remove you that with just, just general. Keep on going. Yeah. But that's what's great about it. Yeah, but that makes that picture a lot stronger. Give it oh, a yeah. couple more seconds here to get just rid of that. Well, there's little. even one a little farther down. Yeah, but that one doesn't out. bother that me. One's not, I didn't even notice it. The other one it. was prominent. But now that I now that I might I might get rid of that one. But anyway, but uh, this is the yeah, least of the three. You, now but they got rid of the one. You see the other. I know. One. I see yeah, the other one, happens. right? Anyway, but they're it's, good though. Good job. This photographer. It's a double-edged sword. This photographer's doing a good stuff. job. I'm giving this photographer some love. So good job. Not bad stuff at all. Here we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. All right. This is not in focus. It's just not. None of it. Not any of this is in focus at all. Now, I don't know if Topaz would save it, but it is. It is there's out. Nothing is in focus. Yeah. Yeah. There's right. nothing in this in this photo at all that's in I focus see where the focal plane is yeah i don't i don't know if topaz is going to save it even topaz is going i don't know it yeah it definitely helped it helped but it's so blurry that it, it, it it's 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 literally out of focus it's, it's not like my camera moved a little it's way better but here's the thing this is where you got to work on focus you've yeah. got to work on your focus and making sure that that focus is is spot on. All right, we got a comment from Mylene. Yeah, my uh, Mylene saying I really appreciate the feedback. Thank you. I know what to work on from here. Well, that's hey, great. what that's a great what attitude. For. So, and then uh, Shelly's saying this critique show is a masterclass on what to do and not to do in both shooting and editing. Well, there we go. All that's, right, so I mean that's part of the yeah. reason why we love showing this stuff. So here you have another everything's like, out everything's of focus. Just out of focus. But. What you would really Actually, need here is the leaves are more in focus in the back. Yeah, this leaf, the these leaves. two leaves here are so you're in focus. Focused this is all the flower. Yeah. So again, working on focus technique should be like an important thing. But one B, one B in here would be good. It would be much better. One. All these or bees three, or three. Or five. Oh no, one. One B. Yeah, one B would don't, be the best. Don't don't overdo three the bees. bees. <laughs> don't over. They yeah. start to swarm. Yes. All right. But one B, but the, that's not the biggest point. The focus focus point. This one's in focus. I, I'm not crazy about the other rows and all this stuff over here. It's just kind of busy. But this is far and away your best. It's sharp. It's clear. Yeah. And you I throw like that, the water if drops. If you throw that through topaz, you're going to get like really. Yeah, sharp. yeah. But that's nice. So, all right. So what we have to do? Work on our focus, focus technique. techniques. Where you're focusing. Where you're focusing, yeah. and also trying to isolate when you have stuff like this coming like growing out of here it's not really growing out of there it's behind it but and this growing out those are distracting because well, you just want it two-dimensional plane a three-dimensional yep. object so it looks weird to us right because you got two yep. dimension three dimension what should they do as far as focusing on the other one where should they focus i would probably focus right on this um, right so making sure there's that a word that for it that's naughty is in focus and right with there the, with the other now, one if you're going to get super close like this you might have to do a thing called focus stacking yeah your camera if you have a, a digital camera a mirrorless in the last few years yeah it probably is built in and what it will do is this it will go take a picture here it'll focus here then focus here then focus here then focus like it'll go click 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 and it'll take multiple photos you put those into Photoshop and Photoshop will automatically combine them, can mm -hmm. automatically combine them into one photo where all of it only shows the sharp areas. So if you're going to get close like that, you might have to do and that. With Same focus thing stacking, here. you're always going to want to focus on the closest part. And, and, it's, cause it's and it will go. Back. Back. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's where pe some of the people will focus in the middle and be no. like, it's not doing it. It's nope. like you focus in the front and it goes back. All right. Look at these thumbnails and tell me if this is going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. This is going to be good. Oh, wow. Oh, that's clever. That's clever. Oh, that's so nice. These are, all right, first, I want to take my hats off to this photographer for doing something different 
for doing a series, mm -hmm. and then we're going to fix one of them. <laughs> but we this is the color. This is like, great. I love it. This is so interesting. This you could sell this like in the gift shop in the town, like prints of this. This is. Let me see if I can make them bigger. This is very nice. Door knockers and then mm -hmm. the little letter slots. Those are very. These are great. And they're very consistent in size and shape, and and that this is really that's yeah. probably my favorite. I don't know the last one I like too. This one, let's look at it bigger. I like that one. That's really nice, very nicely done, very cleverly done. Great use of colors with the gold goes so perfectly with the red and this kind of a dark gray, very and cool. it, this is very nicely done on a black background. The only thing, and this is minor because I love 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 what you're doing is I wouldn't do four rows. I I would do three rows, like three rows. Uh, odd numbers seem to work best for stuff like this. Just like you had the nine, nine things going around. Mm -hmm. I think I would remove that top row. and Because you already have a row of numbers here, right? And yeah. then you have the doorways, which I like. And then you have the letter boxes. Let's see what this would look like. Let me just open it. <coughs> if... We just got rid of that top row because I think the top row is making the whole thing look busier than it needs to be. Yeah, I think that is a, is a stronger look. That's just my own opinion. It's you know all of this is just opinion, of course. Yeah, I but I think that's a, that's a stronger stronger look. But great. Yeah, I love yeah, it. Yeah, let's go. I love what you're doing. Love it. Hey, love it. Love it. We have to take a break. Oh, let's take a break. When we, we come back, we're gonna look at more pictures right after this. Don't go away. Karen Hutton. Join me for how to plan a trip to a location you've never visited. Whether you're an expert photographer, you plan trips, but it still makes you nervous. Maybe you haven't planned a trip, or maybe you just wish you could. Whether you're flying, whether you're driving, whether you're taking a train or some other mode of transportation, you'll learn how to decide, develop, dedicate, and dig in to create the adventure of your dreams, whether it's a long trip or just an afternoon. We're also gonna cover where you gotta be on the inside and how you have to train to maximize your time, your money, and your effort on your next adventure. So join me on my next class at kelbyone.com. This segment of The Grid is brought to you by Canon. 
Hey, we are back, Scott and Eric. Hey, by the way, you know what would be a good thing for you to do to start the new year off? Join Kelby One. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we have this new thing that we launched called the Photographer's Fast Track, and it is designed to get you results in a very, very, very short amount of time, actually in five days. It is a five-day, one-hour-per-day track. The comments and, and the results people are getting after five days are staggering. And we would love for you to be a part of it. And it is included in your Kelby One Pro membership. When you log in, you'll see the fast track and you just, it's five days and then I give you what to do next. So we have like a whole plan yeah. for what for what you do and it's led by me and Larry Becker. But uh, anyway. Yeah, what's great about it is you'll learn a lot of the things that we're talking about in yeah. here. Hey, can you like go the, back one, one those... screen back to the dashboard? So we added something brand new. If you click on any one of those words up there, what it will do is it will take you, yeah. well, that takes you to the fast, fast track, track, but they're basically one word clicks for, uh, to get you to whatever you want. If you want to learn street photography or landscape, landscape, click on landscape and you'll see it. It immediately takes you to, well, in this case, it takes you to the landscape track, but it will take you to all of our landscape courses. This is just the landscape learning track, which is basically where you're you're being led through a certain number of classes. But anyway. But I'll tell you what, you take those classes, you, you, you will won't not. make a lot of these mistakes. No, no, you. you will not. No, you'll be a champ on landscapes because we, yep. we talk about all that type of stuff. Uh, but anyway, very, very interesting, uh, and, and we'd love to have you join. Uh, go to kelby1.com, and also, it would be great to buy for a photographer friend of yours, you know, somebody yep. that wants to... Uh, look. Hey, Doug's got a, a, a very good resolution. My New yeah. Year's resolution is to have at least one printable shot each month. That's a great resolution, and very doable, very, very doable. All right, let's keep going. All right. Let's take a look at some other images. Here we go. That's interesting. That must be the Tampa Zoo. Ooh, murder shots. Ugh. I Eric and I were just yeah. talking. I'm not. I'm not an animal murder. I don't shot. like animal murder either. I know that it's nature. I know that I it happens. It. I never see a shot of one animal it's killing action. another that I like. It is. I mean, action. the thing is, if I was gonna make that, Ooh, like action that. shot, I'd want to see the face. But that's me. yeah. But but I I just I just not not. But my thing. but these are interesting. Obviously, the animal is going after its prey, and that's you know, yes. that's kind of a circle of life. Certainly interesting, but. This one, I like the last one. Uh, I love the yeah, last one. one. We'll talk about that. This one here, it just looks like this is just. If I was going to do, this, I would uh, add a little dehaze to get rid of some of that fog. Uh, there's still a little would bit of it there. Coming closer too. Uh, you can't yeah. get much closer. Can't get much closer. And then I would um, maybe warm it up just a little bit. Something like that. That's just two little tweaks. But I think maybe oop, yeah. maybe a little more of the uh, of the dehaze there, maybe even some contrast. There you go. Kind of get it looking. Yeah, yeah the other one looks a, a little haze. washed out and haze and stuff. Uh, but still a nice shot. Uh, this one is is interesting. I, I hate seeing this leg and stuff up here. Uh, since you're not doing reportage, I think I probably would get rid of that. Um, but that's kind of interesting. Um, and it, it could maybe use a little dehaze too, but again, you know, it has kind of a neat and interesting look to it, but Ooh, I kind of like what dehaze did there. Yeah, I do. Ooh, yeah. So it just had a haze to it. Yeah. It just had kind of a hazy shade of winter. Now this one, this one I love. However, there's something mm. I don't love. Yeah. Let's open it up. You know what I don't love? That bush. That bush. <laughs> that bush <laughs> stinks. Bush glowing too. It's a glowing bush. We're going to take that bush out. We're going to take that bush out and this little junk with it. Generative fill. Generate. Watch it put like another elephant know, there. A little we'll baby see. elephant. You never know. You're rolling the dice. If I wrote baby elephant, we'll put it the there. Every 12 seconds. There you go. There you go. Done. Now, <laughs> tell me that isn't a stronger shot than that. Yep, that bush. Yep. Get rid of that bush and you got a winner. It's a good shot either way, but I think it's much stronger uh, with the, uh, the bush gone. Bye, bush. All right. But good job. Good job overall. All right, we're moving on. We're really getting through them today. Yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Patterns. Well, two out of three ain't bad. Yeah. I, I like this one. 
Mm -hmm. uh, it you know you got like a lens flare going on, which normally I wouldn't like, but I think it looks pretty good here. It works there. The only thing that you need, there's just one thing, if you could interrupt this pattern in some way. So people do like patterns. We're drawn to patterns, right? We we use patterns all through our lives in the design of pretty much everything. However, if you had had one bottle that was white, and you could make a bottle of white, uh, something that was different, one bottle that didn't have a cap, one bottle that was unlike the others, it, it would be stronger, but I like it. I do yes. think you might could go in here to geometry. Just hit the auto button and see what it does. I didn't do as much as I thought it was going to. Well, it straightened it, out that middle line. It did straighten out the middle line, but I thought it was going to fix some of the bowing. You'd have mm -hmm. to go up to optics and go to distortion under manual and see if that'll fix some of that bowing out. You see how it, it was bowing out mm -hmm. like that? That fit, And then you have to recrop, of course. But I, I there's something about that photo yeah. I, I, I like. All right, the That's next one. You're going to do that. That's why that geometry. There is nothing about is this photo that I like. This is bad. This is, what is this? This is just, this is. This one is. Tourists one, in the, the lobby. You look at the first one and you look at the last one. Yeah, and this, this is one really is good. So this one's really good. What happened this here? Is so out of the left field. Seriously, what is this? This is just tourist shot. This is vacation shot. This is not a travel shot. It's not a landscape. It's not fine art. It's snapshot. Well, because everybody's one, just out. in weird, weird positions, too. Yeah, it's just, it's just, just a tourist shot. Out. It's the tourist shot that we avoid at all costs. Uh, this one, I like except for this thing behind it. The buoy? Yep. I would get rid of the buoy. I would go. also, it would take you a minute, I would clean up every one of these little dots of junk here. So it would take a minute, but I think it might be worth it. Now, we might be able to just get rid of this with the, uh, not that, with the healing brush. It's possible. Set to erase, the erase mode. Let's just see if that'll get rid of it fully. Any luck? Yeah, might, yeah. yeah. All right. And then I would go get rid of every single one of these that's killing your shot. All right. Get rid of all those. Yeah, that's really going to simplify it. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Is you're simplifying the photo. You're getting rid of distractions and things that take away from it. So David's asking a good question, or Dave's asking good. a question here. Uh, when making an image for a photo contest, are you normally allowed to use gender fill and these techniques? Well, no. Usually well, you're not allowed no, to use gender fill. It, yeah, it depends. 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 Now, many, many of the... Um, they're starting to open up. They're starting to have categories for gender to fill. Yeah. But um, but those are when you're generating something to add. What uh, I, I just entered a contest this week, and in the contest, uh, they asked, did you do anything substantial in your post-processing? And I told them exactly what I did. Yeah. I said, I did this. I used the healing brush to remove this. I used generative fill to remove part of the chair on the left. I just put right in it what it is. It was all removing stuff. It was not adding anything to the photo. So I, I, I use generative fill just like I would use the clone stamp tool or the healing brush or whatever. Yeah. Just disclose what you're using. Just disclose yeah. it. Don't try to get away with it. Just say, this is what I did. And they'll either say fine or you should enter in a different category or whatever. All right. Yeah, and but, that's usually what happens. Yeah. But that's why I say And then like, a lot of them have categories for it. A lot of them have categories for it. Now, most of the traditional, like you are in enter the landscape category, yes, a lot of times you can't because it's harder. It's hard to create a great image like yeah. out of the camera. All right. It's hard. These are really nice vacation photos. They're nicer than usual vacation photos, but especially that one. Holy cow. Yeah, that that's that's uh, that one's kind of nice, but you know, you, it's it's still very vacationy. You got the zamboni in the shot. I I like what you did geometrically. Yeah, is nice. The, the one zamboni wouldn't be bad if the people's heads weren't on the bottom there. Yeah, this is the, not good. The the, these are the, these are the they are snapshots with an expensive camera. So this is what Saint Saint Patrick's Cathedral, yep. um, and. You can get there when there's nobody there, because Eric a, and I did. <laughs> you just have to go at the uncomfortable times, not yep. the tourist times. Don't go at the tourist times. Don't go during mass. Uh, it's pretty, 
but of course the the people are kind of killing the the shot um it's hard when there's people there people you almost are killing have to this like shot. you almost have to frame people the are people killing this out. shot madison square garden with ads on the side i know that you're thinking empire state building but what i see is madison square garden and a bunch of ads on the side of the building so that's that's not uh yeah these you know what it is they're really good like this go back to st patrick's that without the people is a, a nicely composed shot like where you shot it from the, the you shot it with a nice wide angle get rid of the people that could be great this so i think that you've got a very good photographer's eye but you're what you're doing is you're focusing on the subject but we see everything like you're looking at rockefeller center but i see zamboni and people and distracting stuff right and then back here you're focused on look at that roof and look at all the detail and look at the beautiful wreaths and I see people killing the shot. I, and I think, and this is, I don't know what to call it, photographer's eye or whatever. We look at the waterfall and we don't see all the junk on the yeah. ground. So that's kind of what I think you're doing here because you're nailing some parts of this. Like this one might be able to be saved with a, with a crop. I would maybe go all the way yeah, to just Atlas. Take it out. Yeah. Just take it out and, and you got to get rid of that. Yeah. But right there is even But symmetrically, better. that's a yeah. really good shot. So you've got a good eye, but I, I think that you're kind of missing some stuff. Yeah. So, hey, we're getting lots of great comments here about people who've taken the yeah. fast track, by so the I was way. I saying I love the fast track. My membership is priceless. Amanda's saying I'm in the middle of the fast track right now. I'm loving it so far. Uh, Mike is saying Fast Track was great. Uh, Justin Parker is saying just join. Can't wait to dive in and see what it, uh, um, all there is to offer. All so right. Well, go. thank you for those comments. And thank you, Justin, for joining. We'd love yeah. to have you with us. All right. Let's take a look here. Here's a great reaction shot. That's a really good one. Yes. Looks like he got on base, and uh, that's that's good. This one has potential. Well, it, it's it's it, this is looks like the shot right after the peak moment, yeah. right? He dunked the ball, he's hanging on the rim, but the ball's kind of already, it's just like, it's just a hair, it's a hair. Yeah. Now, also, it's crooked. You can't have a crooked shot. Let's go to geometry, geometry, or just hit A. That should fix it, and then crop it. All right, now, here's what else I would do. Because what's killing you here is the background. You don't want the people, and you cut off his feet. And that's a well. That's part of the uh, cropping. But go to the neural filters. There's also a new lens blur thing you could use in Lightroom or whatever. Yep. Go here. Let's go to the crank up the blur strength. Focus subject. He's the focal point. Give it a minute. You see, it says that the right under his feet. It says processing on device. It's not done until you see the OK button light up. So just wait a second. It's it's, it's thinking. It's thinking. It's thinking. I want to blur that background. There you go. Yeah, that's that helped. I I don't know if the other lens blur might might be better. Yeah. It's hard because it picked up the net and it picked up some yeah, of the ball it, and you it, gotta go it, fix it. You gotta go fix some stuff. But the, you got a brush that'll let you. Uh, where's the brush? It's down here. There's a little brush that you can use to say no, not that. I don't see the brush. Hold on. I forget what you do to bring the brush, but there is a brush that you can use with this. Oh, and wait a minute. Maybe the brush Are is... Are you thinking of the lens blur yes. camera raw? Yes. yes. That's what I'm thinking That's of. Go to lens blur. Go to apply. And give it a second. It's still applying. Which that did a better job. That did job. a better job. That did a better job. That did a better job. And we that's the blur amounts low. Of course, it missed... One it missed person, part of his hair, but one this one, in the background this too. one does, like, yeah, one person, yeah, but much. this one does have a brush. Yeah. Uh, is it this one? Where's the brush? Uh, I don't use this enough, but there is, oh, here it is. Refine, yeah. uh, blur. So you would go and blur them. Say, no, no, they're supposed yeah, to be blurred. Blur. I would think they're supposed to be blurred. These folks over here need to be blurrier. I maybe should. There we go. But the point being, you can refine it. Yeah. All right. But that's yep. look. Look at the difference, side by side. 
Yep. Right. You don't want to really see the people's faces and stuff. You know, they're just supposed to be background. And that's not I didn't do a great job, but you get the idea. However, just I mean, you're just past the moment peak moment, but still a good shot. I, still, I think you're still on to something there. Let's look at your next one. Oh, that's good. And now, uh, however, I think you can go a lot tighter with this. The, this is the story right here. So we're, we're telling a whole lot that we don't need to tell. Maybe something right in there, or maybe a hair more. Maybe you want some stands. There we go. I think that's a, a much sharper shot. I mean, it's, it's just, it's going to bring you into the, I'm like, you're showing all these other players that like, yeah, and eh. that's like You're at 125 millimeters. And yeah, you could have been closer. And then, so this one's a, a killer winner. It's crooked. It's crooked. Does it need to be crooked? No, it does not. Uh, we can save that. So we're going to go to filter, camera raw, and then geometry. Let's just hit A. That'll do it right there. Yep, that's good. And uh, I think you're good. All right. All right. So, but, but I think you're doing good. You're doing, you're obviously doing good. You've got a good control. Like, right. like, look how the background's out of focus. That's yeah. what we're looking for on the basketball shot. Now, you could say, well, that's, that's they're the further distance. away yeah, and it's that's... easier. But that's why you're going to have to do it in post. <laughs> Might take you a minute, but you'll get there. Good stuff, though. All good shots, really. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we're almost done. Oh, that's interesting. However, I know what I want to do already. Ooh, that's a good one. Look at how... The the uh, animal stands out among the surroundings. Yeah. Right? Was that cheetah? Cheetah. See, this is see what you did here. You got to do that here, because let's just real quick. This one needs the gradient going the the sideways. Go to the linear gradient and drag it in this way. So he stands out the way the other one did. You might actually add another gradient. Yeah, coming from the bottom. Coming from the bottom. There you go. And then let's go over here. So do you see how the, this one looks more well, like looks your like other the shot. Like the middle one, yeah. Yeah, that looks like the middle one, which I think was super strong. So that's an easy fix. It's a good shot though. When you start off with a great shot, so it's easy to, to make. The first one. The first one I think the cheat is too far away. Yeah, you're going to come in. I, I think I would just come in. Yeah, and I know that you probably like this little area down here, but I'm thinking for a good cheetah, maybe something like that, maybe yeah. even tighter. And then you might even sculpt the light, kind of what you did. This gradient. Here you might be able to just go do a, uh, a vignette. A vignette or something. Uh, just to kind of yeah. take some of the heat off. There and, you go. But uh, I, like I, I think you're doing really nice stuff. Uh, yeah. I think that would work as a black and white as well. But I, I like All what right. you did on those. Great job. Great, great job. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Three more to go. Howdy. Well, these are all very nice. They're very professionally done. They look really good. The only thing that caught my eye immediately was this one. Can you see what it is, Eric? Besides the, the stupid thing sticking in front of her. The stupid thing sticking in front of her? Well, there's a couple things. I mean, one is the, the, the color temperature. Yes, the blue skin. Blue. She's got blue skin, which is like, that's what you do to make people look dead, right, on TV? Let's go here. Let's go to color and let's warm her up. Let's take the move of the there yellows over and let's go the magentas over because there's a lot of green in there. She's standing in around the green, something in here. Yeah. And look at the difference. Look how blue she was. Yeah, it's kind of like that Milky Way shot we saw before. It was very blue. Yeah. It's very, it's and very uh, blue. I, I like you got the light behind her and stuff. I know. Now, if it were me, I would take out those. Now, unless you want to leave her like I'm in the middle of a field, so I left those things in front of her, that that wouldn't kill me. Uh, I think I might uh, just pull the highlights back a little. She's a little overly bright. She's lit with flash, I think. 
She looks a little overly bright. I might pull back the highlights, mm -hmm. maybe even pull back the the um, the exposure a little bit. And she's just a little a little flashy. I would have turned that flash down in person. And the other last thing you could do is let's just try. I don't know. If, I don't know how this is going to work. Mm -hmm. Let's select her. And then let's do the subtract a linear gradient. Let's go th this way. And then darken so you have some fall off. Yeah. I might have gone a little too far in yeah. the fall off. But she shouldn't be as bright down here as she is in her face. And right you might there, even... You can see the, the right and the left. Totally different. Yeah, let me... Uh, there we go. We didn't do a whole lot to it's get there. It's not a whole lot. It's more about the color balance. The color balance. And when you've got the color balance, then you just sculpt it a little bit. Like. Yeah, it's just a. she was a, yeah. little, a little bit too flashy. And she even has a white hot spot on her nose. You could retouch that out of there or at least reduce it. Yep. You know, but uh, other than that, I mean, you're, you're doing good stuff. Let's go look at the other one. That's That was the one that stood out to me. Um, this one, I think, is pretty good. Her skin tone looks good. Perhaps a little flashy, perhaps just a little bit. Um, I like the, the blue hair. Uh, kind of bright down this end. If I had to do something, yeah. I probably would add the gradient going that way. So maybe a gradient coming this way. That kind of tones down her legs a bit. You know, her yeah. face is bright and lit. This is good, though. This is that's a good shot. You're doing. It's just pulling, you're yeah. pulling your eye to where yep. you want and us that's, to look. That's good. But this is, I'm, I'm, I'm liking the photography a lot. And this is nice, but her legs are the brightest thing. Same thing. Yeah. So you might just do the same thing in here. Yep. And you can, I think in this case, you could do it over the whole floor. Like you don't really need to do just her. Cause I yeah, think the, the floor I, is bright too. Yeah, I think the whole thing could come up to about right. That's too dark. Maybe there. There you go. And does she need. No, her skin's fairly warm. I think I'm looking at her hair color, yeah. but that might be her hair color. Yep. Like, it doesn't look overly cold or anything. Uh, I, you know what? I'm going to add just a hint of yellow. I don't know. I think it it could be a little over. The whole photo looks a little cold, so I might, yeah, put a little yellow, maybe a tad of magenta in there. Let's just see how the color looks. Yeah, yeah. I think I think a little, a little warming w would not. Yeah, look at her legs. Look at her legs on the left. They look a little bluish, and they look a little warmed up, but very minor stuff. You're doing all the hard stuff right. These are just easy little minor things to do in post, but good job. Good, hey, good job. Hey, we got some winners here. We got winners out of our contest. So we got um, how to do that in Photoshop book is going to Betsy from Mass. Then we got the Photoshop book for digital photographers going to uh, Dini Peterson. And then we got Platy Pot Goosenecks going to Justin Parker. And then we got the V flat going to Amanda in Columbus, Ohio. And then retouch for me skin tone going to Mylene. And then uh, on one no noise going to sunny days. So if you just email us over at gridprize at kelby1.com, we'll get you verify information and then send you out your prize. All right. Hey, let's take a look at these. These are really good. Ready? Look at these. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. These are terrific. Now, let me and tell you what angles. this this person's doing right. Well, they're doing everything right. Mm -hmm. But do you notice you don't see a reflection of a bunch of junk in the car? Yep. Right? How many times do we see buildings reflected and trees and all kinds of weird stuff? That is a smooth line. Now, I don't know if you did it in post or you did it, but that's really nicely done. Oh, Same thing here. Uh, yeah, the first one's my favorite, yeah. but I love this this yeah. tail fin, the exaggerated tail fin on the old Cadillac, mm -hmm. like a 1964, 63-something Cadillac. And this one, look how clean the, the reflection yeah. in the car is and everything. I like the low angle for this one. It works. This one's got a high angle, and it works. This one's got a low angle, and it works. This one's nice because you can see the convertible part of it and all that. This is a slick shot. Uh, these are great. I don't even know what to tell you, but wow, I'm loving what you're doing. Last one of the day. Here we go. Mm, nice. A gallon or horse. That's nice. Look at this nice. one. That's Love a that. killer, killer shot. 
That's nice. Yeah. All right. So this this is a killer shot. I love that middle Absolutely one, yeah. killer. Great subject. Your subject's great. great the idea behind the lighting is great. But what what's makes this one is your subject. Yep. That hair, the, the sunglasses, the pose. Mm -hmm. It's all this is all this is like that other one where everything comes together in a photo. This is nice. You put a blue gel on the light and she's, you know, with her horse. It's it's nice. It's don't get me yeah. wrong. But it's not like this. And this is nice. I, I think this is probably you're my second doing, favorite. You're all doing the, the right thing on all of them though. Yep. Yep. Nope. Nope, you're doing good. All right. Well, it was a pretty good go. day, I think. Yeah, overall. Overall, I think we yeah. had some pretty good stuff. Hey, uh, before we go on, Mr. Kuna looks like he got a uh, a nebula shot, one of the shots that he's I become did. famous for I taking. Did. Uh, well, so tell we us had about a, the launch. We had a Falcon Heavy launch, so they're the two side boosters kind of boost back, um, and we get these uh, interesting nebulas up in the sky. Uh, so this is above the launch. Wow, uh, those know. are cool. And then that's uh, the second stage going off into space. And then there's this is the two boosters landing. I saw that one on your Instagram yeah. page. And then that's uh, it before it kind of breaks through the atmosphere. And then I was able to actually get that's an interesting one because I, I haven't seen this much is that's on the top is the second stage going off into space. And the bottom is the first stage coming landing. to land ah. offshore. So, yeah, in the same shot, I don't think I've seen that. I don't think I've seen that either. Very interesting, <laughs> Mr. K. So there you go. All right. You already gave us all the pr the winners, how yep. to get in touch with us in the whole nine yards. Yep, I did. All right. Well, fantastic. For those of you who joined Kelby One during the holidays, welcome. We yes. are so happy to have you here. We've got an amazing year planned. Lots of killer classes yeah, I'd love coming to see up. Everybody in the community too. If you haven't, oh, yeah. if you haven't seen the community, go over to the community. Join over the, the community. Kemba, it Kemba will Kemba enrich your whole experience, mm -hmm. and it's a great place to get help from other members all over the world. Thank you all. Thanks to our sponsors. Thanks to our crew, and we'll see you guys next Wednesday right here on the Grid. Take care, everybody. This segment of the Grid is brought to you by Platypod the world's most compact tripod base. I am a portrait and a wedding photographer based in Valencia, Spain. I do mainly commercial and editorial photography and I retouch up to 100 photos a month. We shoot almost every day for all kinds of clients, such as commercial, beauty and fashion. And we retouch our work more often like every other day. I used to spend over one hour for one photo. If we want professional results, we must remove skin blemishes. Do micro dodge and burn. Highlight eyes, widen teeth, and even reduce wrinkles in clothes. And this can easily take me up to two hours of work for each photo. So when I saw that there's a plugin for Photoshop that helps you retouch quicker, I was eager to get my hands on it. I had many feedbacks about it, and I found a lot of positive reviews, which made me to consider buying my first plugin. One of the challenges we have at the end of a session or wedding is to achieve an addition in our photograph that look natural. This is where Retouch for me has become a game changer. I love the feature that you can pick how much effect it has on your photo and you can adjust it accordingly to your style. I saved a lot of time and always end up having amazing results with my work. I am extremely happy with the quality. Now. I am more efficient and have more time to spare with my family.